Welcome back. We're starting today's episode in the bedroom of our new mega mansion that we built last episode. So if you missed that one, you'll have no idea what's going on. Go watch that episode because I take you through the entire build. But we're starting today's episode with a little bit of myth busting because I heard some rumors that the small chest method to save your tools from breaking permanently actually got patched. As you can see, all of our items are worn. And it used to be that if you broke the chest, it would give you your stuff with full durability. But yeah, now it doesn't. Oh, this game... <laughs> This game just got so much harder. I feel like the progression isn't really all there when you're kind of doing glitches like that. So I honestly don't mind it. Oh yeah, and also uh, last episode, I said that you couldn't break the rock behind me. This is the perfect... Oh, you can't break this rock. No. But if you rewatch it, I was using an axe, not a pickaxe. So that might have been the reason. And I want to put that theory to the test by swinging this pickaxe. And I have a feeling that I'm going to know the result. Yeah. Um, it was just because I had an axe last time and it's actually gonna be part of one of the projects that we do today But first I wanted to decorate my bedroom because in the intro if you saw it There's nothing in here currently and this is literally where I'm living So I feel like I should make it feel a little bit like home We put a TV down as you could see or you know the closest thing we have to a TV We just got to make sure this place really feels like home So we'll put two little couches here like this and then we'll get a little coffee table to put there but no tv is complete without a tv stand under it so we have to add a tv stand and that looks awkward now so there needs to be a tv stand in this corner as well oh that looks good i like the way that looks so far okay i like this book collection because it's so colorful so let's go ahead and throw those right there then i think we have room for one more book why not a yellow one can we fit it there? No, we can't. Oh, what about a plant? Oh, but you can't even see it there. I want the plant somewhere where you can see it. We'll toss a neat little potted plant right on that side. That's the living room area done, but it still feels a little empty. So I'm just going to add that for no reason. Just some barrels. And we need to go on a brief adventure. I just realized I have no marble, which is really good for decoration. So yeah, I'm going to go get some. Wait. I'm traveling for marble, but that might be the coolest formation I've seen in this game. Wait, that's so sick. There's like a water tunnel. I must investigate this. Okay, so this is like an island in the middle of a lake with just the craziest rocks. I'm pretty sure these are normal rocks that you can break. Oh, this is so cool. I'm saving these coordinates and on episode like 800, I'm gonna come back here and build something crazy. So subscribe so you don't miss that. I'm gonna go get some marble and finish up this room and then we have other stuff to get to in this video. I got my marble, but as I'm coming back, I wanted to address the comments. I've gotten a ton of requests asking that I make these episodes longer and I'm gonna try my best to do that moving forward. And you've already seen it in this video with me going to get the marble. I usually wouldn't even leave that in, but that's besides the point. We're back at my house and and we have a little bit more work to do. Oh my goodness. Wait, we just unlocked bathroom stuff now that we have the marble. So we can make a toilet and we can make a cozy tub. Oh my goodness. Wait, we should make this the bathroom. Instead of extending the balcony so much, why don't we make a pocket of this the bathroom? We're going to do that. Let me renovate real quick. And I guess, you know, I just talked about leaving more in the video. So let's leave this in the video. I'll show you guys kind of how I would build out this room. Building in this game is pretty challenging, especially when you're trying to get things in perfect spots. So let's go ahead and see what I would do. I'm going to go ahead and take a wall here. Okay. It's saying that basically this is the problem. So let's break that. We'll figure that out later. Let's put that there. We still have enough balcony room, I believe. I'll scale it in, so like that, like that. And then we can actually replace these since I don't believe these walls show on the other side. Yeah, they don't, perfect. Okay, so we can actually replace this whole wall. Oh, none of this shows actually. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, we can basically renovate and gut this entire thing. Now what we have to do just for the outside of the house, because yeah, now we have this ugly wall. We need to make sure we take care of that. So we'll just flip that around and we already have that fixed. So I'm gonna let you guys in on a little tip that I've learned. And that is that there's more than one answer to every single problem in this game. So in this situation where you really don't have any floor pieces that would match it, what I would honestly do is just make the wall come in a little bit more. Obviously it'll make the room a little bit smaller, but I think it's totally worth it because now it looks seamless and like it was meant to be built like this, but it's so orange in this room right now. Okay. Yeah, there we go. That's a little bit better. Um, this looks good. This is the beginning of our bathroom and we got to put our stuff inside 
inside of it. So the first thing we're gonna put in is the cozy tub because that's the coolest thing. And we're also gonna put it somewhere where it's visible. I think something like this is perfect. I want it visible at any point in the room because the tub, it just looks sick. So yeah, we're gonna put it there. We're gonna get the sink and we're gonna put it right here. And lastly, we need the toilet against the other wall. I can't believe I went this long without a toilet, but now we got one. And again, on the topic of not being able to flush out the floors, like you can see here, we're just gonna add these little things in the background. Oh my God, they fit perfectly. <laughs> They fit perfectly in here. And the last decoration on the floor will be these little two buckets. We could pretend that those are for like plungers or something. And there's nothing in this game for wall art. This is literally the only thing. So we're just gonna put one there to pretend like it's a mirror. Oh, yo, who are you? Why are you in my bedroom? What are you doing? You can stay here though. All right, we assigned her a bed and wait. She took my bed. Oh, I just got to build her a new bed. That's what I... Okay, let's do that. Oh, I totally forgot that that's a thing. Okay, so let's assign Robin there. And now we got a new villager. Oh, wait, I could give her a job. Yeah, work for me. Speaking of people in my village, where are any of my villagers here? Like, where are they? Are they by the campfire? They're, they're not by this campfire. Are they somewhere? Did I just lose them because this place is so big or are they not here? Yeah. I don't know. They're nowhere to be found. And here's a little flyover of the place at night. Now, looks a lot more majestic. I added some splash lighting on the outside, as you could tell, and it looks really, really good, especially in the rain. But we're back at our base now, and we left because we needed some knot root just for this one table that fits perfectly here. I love the way that looks. Wow, that's so sick. I'm thinking about just putting my bed right here in the middle of the room. I think that kind of makes sense. Kind of want to have your bed facing the indoor-outdoor view. Let's just put a little coffee table on both sides right there. And that should be about good. We got our bed situation figured out. Now we just gotta actually assign ourselves to it so no one else steals it. She just gave me build recipes. Oh, I have the recipe for big plants now. That's awesome. I wanna put one in the corner. Yeah, let's do that. Also here, we need some more books since we read so much and we're so intelligent. Whoa, our villager actually sits on the bench. How do we sit with her? I can go like this. <laughs> That's the closest I can get, I think. A little bit more books, and that corner is good. Now, I think that the last thing we need here is one more cozy table like we have over there. And then no table is complete without some chairs next to it. So we're gonna put four chairs down. We're gonna vary which chairs we use. So we're using some rounded ones and some square ones just to make it look a little more random in here. And we'll make them pushed out a little bit so they're not right up against the table. One last one. And there we go. And our Villager is sitting at the table now. I just put the shelf here in my bathroom. Looks pretty good. It looks like there's medicine up there, so it kind of makes sense. I want to put something on this wall as well. Maybe just a little book. And the last thing we will do is create a tiny bit of functional storage, just like that. It looks like we can place something on top of it, so let's definitely do it. And at the moment, I do not have any more wool fabric for wall art. So this is basically our bedroom done. And I hope you guys like it. I definitely am kind of in love with it. I think the last thing I need to do is make more wool so I can get these yellow couches out here on the balcony. I'm not a big fan of these green ones. They don't feel like they're home furniture. It feels like this is something you would see at like a public park. So I wanna get that changed. But other than that, our bedroom and the first room of our mega mansion is officially done. Bathroom and everything with some functional storage. I don't know if I showed this off, but yeah, these actually hold six items. But that's enough for housekeeping today. We will move on to something else. And this is actually gonna be one of our biggest projects besides this house. And that's gonna be a full monorail system so i kind of hinted at this but this was super calculated and the reason i built this village here is because there was a cool little overhang which is this rock that i'm standing on i figure that the monorail station can end here and transport us all the way over there to our bridge at our mega base honestly like it just kind of worked out perfectly that this thing was here so i took advantage of it but we're gonna go ahead and build out a monorail system with chests on it that way we can transport things back and forth but i need to gather a lot of materials before we do it so yeah come on along for the journey. And it is time to get started on our monorail system. One problem though, we don't have any wood. So I'm going the expensive route and using granite. I don't know if that's a good idea. So the first thing we need to do is take some cool stairs and place them in a spot, which actually lets us build. Who is that? A new villager? Who is this? Dana? What's up, Dana? Okay, hold on. There's no bed. 
Oh, never mind. I forgot I don't have wood. Okay, this is perfect. So we got our little staircase here. And I said I was going to keep this rock, but I've realized that this build might get a little annoying with a rock in the middle of it. I know I said I was going to leave it, but I think it has to go. Um, now it's too late to change my mind. So the rock is gone. We're going to rebuild this. It's going to give us a lot more room and flexibility if we do it this way. So the first thing I have to do is line up the middle here and drop this support, which is basically going to be what my monorail hangs on to. And after that, it's pretty simple. All I got to do is grab any sort of floor. Got to find the middle and we're just going to start building out all the way to our other mega base. But what we need to do first is actually build out the monorail to see what it looks like when it sits here. I need to make sure this is the perfect parking spot before we build the entire thing. So I'm about to do a speed run of a monorail build. Give me a second. Well, that thing just fell apart. And I think that the trains are done. Also, I followed a tutorial that I'll link down below by Bo. I followed his airplane tutorial last time. So yeah, I'll give him credit in the description, but shout out to him. So the trains are officially built. Now we just need the track. I don't really trust the toys in this game. I feel like they're really wonky and they kind of just fall all over the place, but we're going to try this. And the main reason we're doing this is so we, oh, there's a supply drop over there. I should probably go get that. But the reason that we're doing this is not so I can get back quickly because obviously I have a glider. I could just fly this pretty quickly, but this railing system should should allow for us to use chests and if i could use chests then i can actually transport stuff back and forth way better than i could if i just had my inventory so we're just gonna do this all the way to our base and we're gonna see what happens when we try to turn on the monorail okay and we made it back to our base as you can see one long beam all the way there that's gonna basically be our railing now i just have to build something on this side so it actually stops for the time being we're just gonna put these tires here just to make sure that the thing stops and then we'll also throw some walls down it's pretty ugly right now but that'll all end up being a train station but before we do any more building we need to test this baby out because i'm sure that's what you guys have been waiting for and i am so excited to try this in the tutorial he put crates on it and it didn't seem to have any effect on the actual movement system itself so i'm assuming that'll probably be the same because i did follow his tutorial so if i click the interact button oh my goodness it works perfectly so far wait i don't i, I don't want to speak too soon but look how clean this is you just keep pressing this button and we are moving ladies and gentlemen in our first ever monorail i know i'm a little bit late since a lot of people have already built one of these did i speak too soon why isn't this going uh we're stuck in the middle of it why why are we can we go back oh we can't go either oh no what's going on oh we're going backwards now Oh, whoa, going backwards worked. Yeah, now we're moving again. There we go. We got past the spot where we kept getting stuck and we are well on our way. Uh, but as you guys could tell, if I just jump out of here, honestly, I'm faster to just glide. But like I said, that's mainly going to be used for storage. So I'm not too worried about the speed. It's more so just the fact that we can transport stuff from base to base. So let's steal a grand chest and plop it up on my monorail to make sure all of this works. And also, I think there's something that can help me get up there. And that thing is a grappler. I kind of don't like that the grapple only has 10 shots in it because you lose it so fast, but it's okay. All we need it for is to get back up here. So let's try to do this first try. Grapple, glide. Nice. Okay, we made it back up. Oh, no. Oh, okay. There we go. We made it back. Now let's confirm our belief that the crate being here actually doesn't affect anything. So we'll just drop a crate. It's a heavy crate. I don't know if it actually considers the weight, but if we press the button now. We're not moving. How about if we push it? Oh, oh, so it just has to be stuck together and then they move. That makes a lot of sense. But we are moving with a grand crate on top of our monorail. Oh my goodness. We are back to our other base. You know, obviously not the fastest travel as you guys have seen. It took me a while to get over here, but we made it. Let's see if it comes to a stop here. It's about to hit the tires. Oh, it actually just turned off the thrusters right before. Perfect. So we got our grand chest up there. Now, like I said, all we need to do is build the station, the little tram station on this side and the other side. There's just a big wire going across here now it's starting to look crazy but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did subscribe for daily lego fortnite content but other than that it's been your boy kaz and i'll catch you all in the next one peace